So we're gonna change the way this place looks. people today I am I am at a slightly different place you guys might recognize last time I was up here I saw that Justin had been getting a whole bunch of lumber milled and he's got this massive pile of ends and offcuts and things like that I started looking and a lot of it's really good lumber like a lot of it's really good lumber and so as we've been building these garden beds I uh, couldn't help but notice that looks like garden bed material. So I asked him, I was like, could I, could I get some of that stuff from you? You know, I offered to buy it and he's like, we have so much, just come get it. So our truck is in the shop. And so I asked my friend Bill if he would mind coming up here and he's like, yeah, sure. So we hooked up to my trailer and we're gonna get a load of this stuff. I forgot the camera. So you guys are actually on my phone right now. So I'm gonna have to figure out a place to park you guys where you guys can see what's going on. So let's get started. too much I think that right there is actually gonna be more lumber than I have bed space for at the moment so I think that'll work I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that doesn't even look like we uh, made a dent in that pile back there but so far so good the Sun's getting hot yo I'm dying out here all right I'm gonna get all this stuff home a lot, of good wood. a lot of good wood huh yeah. Sweet. So had you really seen this stuff when it was sitting up there? No, just, just I wasn't. From afar? Are you kidding? All the girls get together and we don't stop talking. So a lot of good lumber, a lot of good usable stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a mix. There's some pine, there's poplar, there's some oak. The garden doesn't care. Some of this stuff is really big and heavy and some of it is kind of thin. Yeah. Um, it's a lot like my off cuts when I'm milling up the stuff. Yeah. But this is a lot of lumber. We were loading and like I'm looking, it's like, these are all 12 footers. Like it's taken me a long time to mill up this much just with a chainsaw. Yeah. Like this is actually more wood than I need. So we stop, this is good enough. It's okay. So what we'll do is we'll just, you know, start hauling it to various places that we need it. And I'll just start putting it in. There's a few places I'm not gonna even build beds per se. It's just gonna be like three sides just to keep the dirt in one area. Yeah, like a retaining wall but, thing. Most of this stuff is perfect for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So I guess it's time to make beds. Where are your compadres? Your brethren? All you people yeah. that are camping in our front yard. We're going to haul lumber. We're just going to start hauling wood and putting it in place. Uh, I'll direct traffic. Thank you. 
All right, thank you guys. Welcome. Welcome. That was actually quite easy. It was pretty easy with the dollies. So that's all we need for this bed. We are running out of time for tonight, so we will continue this in the morning. I will see you about now. New day, sun's already climbed high in the sky. All right, we've got our stuff over here. I'm gonna go collect my tools and we are going to start building beds. I'm excited. This is kinda, when I saw those and he said I could get them, it was just like, yes, that's the rest of my beds. I don't have to like sit and cut up lumber. I don't have to find trees. Like all I have to do is go get them. It's a lot of lumber guys. Like realizing how much was in that off cut pile. You know, it's just, it's just ends. It's not the best stuff, but Hey, like that's pretty good lumber for free 99. There's two. All right, so as soon as the help gets here, we're gonna move these in location and then that's gonna be it for today. I'm pretty happy with this uh, this wood score. Big shout out to Justin Rhodes. I didn't film very much while I was there because one, I forgot the camera and you know I was working, so it's kind of hard to do both. Thank you, Justin. Uh, you guys go over and check out his channel if you have not. I mean, I assume most of the people watching know who Justin Rhodes is. If not, you've never heard of Justin, go check him out. He's uh, He's been homesteading for a long time. Uh, he's been doing the YouTube thing for a long time. And you know, I can't lie, like a lot of wanting to do this came when I saw, you know, what Justin was doing. It was like, we gotta do that. That looks so cool. Uh, it was, I, I, I've told people it was kind of the catalyst that pushed me out the door and got me moving in this direction towards homesteading, so. Big, uh, big shout out to Justin. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, let, let's get these uh, put in place and then we'll uh, be done for the day. Well, you know, done until this evening. go I just got to level them dig them in a little bit and you know get them set where we want last year we had beds that were like you know 20 30 40 50 feet long and it was okay but we found you know working with these slopes it's actually kind of a hassle when that's all grown up with tomatoes or what have you it's so bushy you can't walk through so you if you want to you see a tomato on the far side in the middle you have to walk all the way around 
it's just kind of a hassle. So we have, as we're putting in these beds, we're going to have probably arches over every single gap to trellis on. Um, but mainly it's just walkways. You know, every 12 feet we'll have a walkway. As soon as I get these beds done, I'm gonna do beds down there in that long bed. You can kind of see back there in the chicken fence. That bed will still be long because that's where we're gonna do some corn and stuff like that. Stuff that you don't really need to get around for a long period of time. I'm pretty happy. What do you guys think of this? It's pretty cool having all this wood, huh? Yeah, yeah. so many garden beds. It's gonna be a lot of garden beds. We're gonna change the way this place looks. Yeah. It's it's an interesting thing like okay we need space for garden and growing vegetables but we would kind of like to get a cow. I think we could do it on this property. It would be very uh very intensive in the rotational grazing, but I think we could do it. But yeah, that's a that's a story for another day. A big shout out to Bill for uh donating your time and your truck and sweating with me out there in the sun. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you, Bill. All right, that's going to do it for us for today. We have some stuff we got to go do. It's our, you know, bi-weekly trip to town. So, catch you guys on the next one.